Hi friends, it's Kate here with the Mom Boss Mentor. And today I want to talk about income producing activities that you can do, IPAs that you can do in five minutes or less throughout your day. So I don't know about you, I am often on my phone scrolling through while I'm waiting for the water to boil, my coffee to pour, the kids to hurry up so we can get to the bus, waiting for the bus to come and drop them off at the end of the day, waiting them for them to be finished dance or whatever it is. So using your five minute pockets here and there throughout your day really can create momentum um, without having to sit at a desk, right? So right now today I'm at my desk, it's production day. Today I'm maximizing a quiet house, getting everything set up so that I can enjoy the summer, okay? And really looking at how to um, you know, work smarter, not harder. But the there's a lot of times where I'm on the go with my phone. And so if you use your phone, your iPad, your computer or whatever to run your business, just know that it's possible to do this not at your desk, okay? Beach, on the boat, in the car, wherever you are in line, you name it. So the first thing I'd like to think about is how to stack my habits. So if you are already um, you know, sitting on your phone playing a game, delete that game, all right? If you got goals, you got no time for games. I will honestly say that I got addicted to this like fish game that my daughter asked me to download for her. And it was like consuming me, okay? I was like checking it every morning, making sure I feed my fish. And then I was checking it at lunch. And then I was checking it at the end of the day. And that was a lot of wasted time. You know, 15 minutes here, an hour there is easily consumed by playing a game. So guess what? I deleted that app. I was like, I ain't got time for this. And I really want to challenge you to think about your social media or your phone habits and what ones are serving your business and which ones are hurting your business. If you were to have your upline or the top owner of the company or the top leader see what you spent your time on your phone, would they be in like, wow, look at you go? Or they'd be like, wow, you're wasting time. If your family looks at you on your phone and like, are you working again and you're playing a game? Are you taking time away from them um, and wasting it? Or are you investing that time to be productive so that you are, you know, not taking away from them, you're contributing to the family financially. So that's why I like income producing activities. So first thing in the morning while I have my cup of coffee, you know, I like to send birthday messages. I love to compliment a couple of people. So I'll scroll through stories or scroll through my feed and, and give a genuine compliment. I don't know how awesome it is to receive a genuine compliment for somebody. Thank you so much. You really inspired me. Or, hey, look at you go. I'm so proud of you. Just imagine how you could start someone else's day by lifting them up with a genuine, authentic comment or message of inspiration. Okay. So that is something that I love to every day. It sets my tone super, super smooth. Now, of course, if you have something that you need to deal with, that's really weighing on your shoulder, deal with it first thing in the day, just get it done, start off, eat the frog, right? Get it out of the way. So if you hate follow-up, do it in the morning. If you hate uh, asking about the opportunity, share it with somebody today. If you hate going live, go live and get it out of the way, right? So whatever your frog is, get it out of the way. Do those nice compliments, okay? It could be one person every day, just sending a positive message or uplifting them and doing your birthdays, just saying, hey, happy birthday. What do you got going on for today, right? Those are just some simple, easy things I can do while I drink my coffee for five to 10 minutes in the morning. Now around a uh, coffee break time, I like to make sure that I'm active on social. At least I've done something today in my stories or on my wall um, or TikTok or whatever. So making sure you have something that is engaging people, getting them to comment on your post. This is something I do every single day, non-negotiable by morning coffee. There is something on my wall or something in my stories that is getting people to comment, is attracting people to react, okay? So you know, viral, vulnerable, or value as topics for posts. If you do not know about that, you can scroll down or message me and I will send you my little content creation checklist. But um, those are some things I like to do at coffee break. Now, lunchtime. I really do think that this is like where I got a little bit more meat. So this is where I may go and follow up for those orders, or I may go and ask for orders, 
or I may go and spend 30 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever, kind of scroll in a new book um, group and building some conversation. So being authentic, creating comments that spark responses like, oh my gosh, I love this concept of, I would love to know more about it. Or where did you find this? I have to read more about it. So I'll, I'll comment on people's posts and comments, um, asking for more information or building a dialogue back and forth. This is a great way to grow your influence and get to know new people um, by building authentic relationships that have nothing to do with selling, but has everything to do with conversation and building relationships. So by the afternoon coffee time, guess what? You've got messages in your inbox. And this is the coolest thing that I love because now I have people responding to me or sending me messages so I can go ahead and scroll through them, respond accordingly while I'm waiting for the kids at the bus stop, right, for pickup, and it's maximizing those 10, 15 minutes. Again, most people playing a game or scrolling through media. I am now into income producing conversations or at least building connections further, which is the name of the game. Now, evening time, I don't love to live on my phone every evening because that's not why I signed up for a psychic. I want more time with my family. I want to play golf and I want to um, sit on the deck and, you know, enjoy the night stars or have a hot tub with my husband or whatever, watch a show. But it doesn't mean that most people are still on their phone, right? You're still kind of scrolling or checking things out. So this may be a really good time to, to go live and just kind of share highlights of your day. You could um, go ahead and add another um, value post like or get people to engage a little bit further to boost your algorithms. Um, but it's also a really good time to connect with new people, uh, make an offer or a solution or whatever. So evening time, again, five minutes while I'm waiting for, you know, us to get uh, more people to get to the, the greens or waiting for my turn to drive the ball at golf. I definitely work those five minutes there too. Um, or while I'm waiting for, you know, turn the dishwasher on or whatever. So little pockets again in the night, but again, I'm not sitting at my computer. I'm not working nonstop on my phone. And that's really what I want to challenge you to do. So there's a few tools that I like to use to keep on track. A checklist is awesome. I do have an income producing activity checklist. Um, I also have a five minute checklist of value versus income producing. So if you want that, it's really quick, like check, 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 kind of like, I think there's 50 minutes or 60 minutes worth of activities there. Um, and then my upline created this daily method of operations, which I have to say I love because it showed me where I'm lacking in my business. So you can see right here, I do not add enough people every day. So I have yet to add five to 10 new people in one single day. I have a lot of days with four or three, but I don't like to just add friends and not talk to them. I wanna add and I wanna create a connection. I want a meaningful engagement and that takes time. So don't feel like, you know, whatever it is that your team and you focus on, this is just something that has helped me identify my weak point. So I don't do a lot of reels. Okay. So I definitely don't do reels every single day. Um, I know that that's something I need to work on. I don't do a lot of, um, referrals, which I know I need to work on. And um, something that I am really good, though, is supporting my team, supporting new marketers, um, tracking my numbers. Okay, so there's certain things that are not income producing that I do every single day, regardless. I start conversations every day. But being able to track it really does help. So if you think you would enjoy something like this, let me know because I would be happy to create one that's generic to any industry um, if you think that this would be something really helpful. So if you think a monthly tracker, a daily tracker would be something you would love, let me know, shout out, give me a comment below um, or reach out to me. My name is Kate Moyer, M-O-I-R. You can find me on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. I am Kate Moyer. And you can also reach out to me um, on my cell phone. So the information's in the comments. Have an amazing day.